Google, the company that revolutionized the technological world, by Evan Puggett and Ian Kaufman. Page and Brin, the founders of Google, exploring new technologies, encountering threatening world issues, and exchanging jobs with the public in a revolutionary technological world. Page was born on March 26, 1973 in East Lansing, Michigan. Page's parents were both experts in the field of computers. He earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Engineering from the University of Michigan. Then he went on to Stanford, where Page hoped to specialize in computer engineering. Stanford University is where Page and Brin eventually met. Larry Page is now one of the CEOs for Alphabet Inc., the parent organization of Google. Page's current net worth is listed at about $29.2 billion. Sergey Brin was born on August 21, 1973 in Moscow, Russia. In 1979, Brin's family emigrated from Moscow to the United States to escape persecution of Jews. His father was a mathematician and economist. Brin received a degree in mathematics and computer science from the University of Maryland. Brin then went on to Stanford, where he and Page received doctorates in computer science. He is also one of the CEOs for Alphabet Inc. His net worth is currently listed at about $34.3 billion. Google is a multinational company that specializes in internet-related services and products. Google has 181 services and is still developing more to this day. The CEO of Google is Sundar Pichai. Google headquarters is found in Mountain View, California, but Google can be found in many different countries around the globe. Google has many subsidiaries and is a subsidiary of Alphabet Inc. Also, Android was made primarily by Google, but is not a subsidiary. Finally, the net worth of Google as of May 2015 is $367.7 billion, thus showing how business is currently booming. Google has created many iconic doodles that are visible daily on the search engine. They depict all sorts of events such as famous people, birthdays, and holidays. Every day people are excited to see how the Google sign will change. Today there are more than 1,000 Google doodles. It started out in 1998 as colleagues would creatively depict the word Google, and it has evolved to a major part in their philosophy. Ryan Germick, a Google Doodle employee, once said, Human brains are not built to understand how millions of people interpret something. For me, it's about seeing if I can make my colleagues laugh or learn a new technique. Then I've done my job. This shows how doodles are important to the Google philosophy and how doodles help Google interact with society. Google is exploring new projects to help solve problems and remain technologically advanced, which helps them remain a dominant corporation. Google is actively working on eye-opening technologies to enhance everyday activities. The Google glasses are basically a smartphone that you can wear as glasses. This is awesome! And the radar has been used for many different things, to track cars, big objects, satellites and planes. We're using them to track micro motions, twitches of human hands, and then use that to interact with wearables and Internet of Things and other computing devices. Interactivity and input devices into the materials, that will be the first step to making computers and computing invisibly integrated into the objects and materials and clothing. On Friday, Google unveiled Project Vault, a secure computer that fits into a micro SD card slot. Oh, isn't that cute? There's no steering wheel in the way. <laughs> Google is exploring, creating, and implementing new, convenient advancements in the forms of applications and products. These applications and products help people function quite easily, which shows how Google is a people-first company. Google has many astounding advancements that directly affect the current digital, social, and physical world. Google Translate, one of Google's most beneficial applications, allows people to translate over 80 worldwide languages at the touch of a button. This easy and efficient program is used millions of times daily and is useful during difficult situations involving foreigners. Additionally, Google Maps is an application that can be downloaded on your smartphone, and it provides directions to almost any location. Google Search Engine is an online search bar that includes a shopping, news, images, videos, and more tabs. 
Google Chrome is a web browser that directly opens to the Google search engine. According to StatCounter, Google Chrome is used worldwide as a primary web browser over 58% of the time. This allows people to receive the best web browsing experience possible. Gmail was created on April 1, 2004. It allows people to send long-distant emails for free, and it even has a chat feature for quick hellos. Today, Gmail has over 900 million users. Google Drive was launched on April 24, 2012, and it allows people to create documents, presentations, and spreadsheets with classmates and peers. Google Drive has a unique option to share files, spreadsheets, and presentations with others. This application is used in thousands of schools across the U.S. Chromebooks are a new wave of laptops invented by Google that eliminate some of the everyday hassles previously occurring by other laptops. Chromebooks are affordable yet still effective, and they are being implemented everywhere for their affordability and efficiency. Google is coming up with solutions to many problems with the young scientists that participate in the Google Science Fair. Google Science Fair is a global online science fair for ages 13 to 18. It is described as inspiring and powerful because of the issues they encounter and try to fix. This is the way Google grapples with challenging problems in the world. Google Science Fair enables young scientists to shine and empowers them. The problems range from world hunger and the energy crisis to diagnosing and treating diseases such as cancer and Alzheimer's. Google partners with LEGO Education, National Geographic, and Virgin Galactic to make the science fair possible. What will you try? Google is encountering issues throughout the world with their donations to charity. Philanthropy falls into encounter because Google finds damaging problems and needy, worthwhile causes and they donate money to help better the cause they are helping. In 2012, Google donated $23 million in grants to help girls and minority students in science and technology. Also, Google gave $5 million to DonorChoose.org to help fund 500 new advanced placement science and math courses for underprivileged students. Google gave $5 million to Charity Water to use water monitoring technology at 4,000 wells across Africa. An additional $5 million was given by Google to the World Wildlife Fund to adapt sensors to detect poaching. Smithsonian's Barcode of Life project received $3 million from Google to use DNA barcoding to protect endangered species. Google is exchanging by investing in the companies, and then in return they will be repaid in the future once the company gains revenue. Google has come up with additional funding and search for up-and-coming companies to invest into. According to Google Ventures, Google has already invested in more than 300 companies. Google not only provides these companies with financial aid, but they also help by design support, engineering, recruiting, marketing, and etc. Some companies that Google invest in are Uber, Nest, Slack, Foundation Medicine, and hundreds more. Google is exchanging by providing career opportunities for people in exchange with the employees complete work assigned by Google. Google Exchange is by providing thousands of people with occupations. Careers at Google range from engineering and design to business strategy to real estate. They even have positions that focus on social impact. Without Google providing many various jobs, many intelligent people would be left unemployed and their talents would not be used to their full potential. The first time I saw the campus was, it was incredible. There's volleyball nets and colorful umbrellas and you see people walking their dogs. It feels kind of like a playground, a big playground. The atmosphere around Google is definitely very eccentric, but also very academic. At Google, we actually do have the ability to make more of an impact on people and more of a change in one year than many people do in their lifetimes. Google is historically significant for many very important reasons. Google helps young scientists develop ideas through the Google Science Fair that can eventually lead to future and current world solutions. Many of the current and past projects they implemented have the potential to change the way society functions. They also are constantly working on new projects to better the digital world and the environment. Google also provides thousands of jobs and opportunities for everyday and intellectual people, which helps decrease the unemployment rate, thus benefiting society as a whole. Additionally, Google is involved in philanthropy and donates millions to charities annually. Also, Google, specifically Gmail, provides individuals with free email services, which helps society communicate and stay up to date. Google has created Chromebooks, a computer, that help people carry out daily tasks. Finally, Google's many various products are used multiple times every day by billions of people throughout the world.
The 21st century has become all about technology. Google stays relevant by creating useful and interest-provoking products and technological advancements.